Hello, I'm Terry, 2E0IPK. Um, I watched a while ago, I, I was uh, I was having problems tuning up my uh, Ampro, my hamstick uh, 20 meters, and uh, I just couldn't get the SWR down. Um, I needed an antenna analyzer, definitely needed it. I couldn't do it without it because with those, you've got the whip that goes on the top and then you push that down in and you've got a coil in it. And the whip can't go in there. You can't transmit while it's in there because it'll just destroy it. So that was no good to me. So I wanted to, I did just didn't know where to put the thing, to be honest with you. And I could not get the SWR down on my radio. Kept coming up high SWR, which it would do. So I thought, well, apart from the fact this is dangerous to the to the radio, um, you know, I, I want to work it properly. I want it to be set how I want it. I knew then that I needed an analyzer, so uh, I was looking around and I, you know, thought to myself like, you know, I don't want to give Martin Lynch too much money. I mean, he'd be having lots of, uh, you know, cooked dinners on a Sunday, and I'll be on beans on toast. So uh, that <laughs> I weren't having none of that. So um, I thought Nano VNA. I saw Gary of Martin Lynch's advertising them, so I thought, well, yeah, give that a go, give it a go. So I purchased one and. Um, the th first time I used it, I, w I was amazed. I mean, it brought. I saw my SWR on my M stick, M stick. Uh, I got it about one to one point three to one, one point four to one. I was amazed. I thought to myself like, you know, this is uh, this is brilliant. You know, just what I wanted. But I only wanted it as an analyzer. I mean, they do a lot more than that. And I've got a book which I'll show you in the video. Uh, but I thought. You know this is this is great you know i i really like the look of this so uh anyway it's just a little video just to show you what happens i mean you do actually see in there as well that the software can be very fiddly it can be and you know but uh I've, i'm gradually getting there it's taking me less time to be honest with you to actually get it how i want it you know but um you know we'll see how we go with it and uh see if you like it and uh well we're see you see you in the video hello uh, i decided to uh invest in an antenna uh antenna analyzer and um well to be honest with you i mean they were so expensive i thought to myself well i've heard a little bit about the nano vna and people are saying to me yeah they're okay but then they like to update the software and all that type of thing and i think I don't really care about the firmware, you know, I don't need it so much to worry about it. If I get used to it for the antenna analyzer, that'd do me. That's all I really want it for, an antenna analyzer. So I purchased this from Martin Lynch's, who I must say gets quite a bit of money out of me. <laughs> but I'm sure he don't mind. Um, anyway, yeah, so uh, I, I purchased this. Uh, this all comes as a complete kit. The analyzer is out at the moment. I will do that in a minute. But you get a lead uh, for charging the unit and also connect it to the computer as well as, if I can get the thing. Uh, no, nope, probably not, but there you go. That's what you get when you do videos. There you go. There it is. Right, so there it is. And there's a little touch thing there. But I won't use that because I've got my own one that I use. Uh, so there's them. Uh, you get two cables, two of these cables here. These are for uh, calibrating. You've got the open, the uh, the um, not the load. That's the uh, closed one, and it, that's the load. And you also get a few extension connectors that are quite handy as well. Um, the whole thing cost me about £160, I know it might have been less than about 120 but uh, to be honest with you, I've I've enjoyed having the thing, I've got to be honest, it's, uh, I, I believe, well worth the money, but, uh, you know, don't quote me on that, but uh, it does what I want it to do, and that's the main thing, uh, I've, I can use antennas now that I couldn't use before uh, because I didn't have an analyzer and uh, I just couldn't tune them in how I wanted to. I didn't know whether I was, you know, basically going high SWR, low SWR. Well, not low, I couldn't get too low, could I? But higher and higher, I did, or was I coming down? And, you know, in the end, I thought, well, an analyzer is the only way to go with this. 
But also, while I'm on the subject of the VNA, although this video is about the VNA, um, I purchased a book. This is Nano VNA Explained. And it does actually tell you about all the things, or most of the things, that a VNA can do. I won't open it because it's not fair on the uh, the publisher or the uh, the writer to actually show the work that's involved in it. But it is very, very, a very good guide, very invaluable. And uh, it's I got it from the RSGB, and uh, yeah, it, it's a really good book. It, as I say, it does tell you lots and lots of things of things about it. So uh, there you go. I just thought I'd show that to you anyway, and uh, well worth getting. If anybody's got a Nano VNA and would like to do more with it, that's your book. Okay, now I'll, I'll run a little test for you. So here's the Nano VNA itself. Um, looking at this, you can see I've already connected it up. Well, you can't really see I've connected it up, but I've connected it up to my um, my collinear, uh, which is two meters seventy cm uh, and X fifty. So start it up. There's a the startup program bit, and here we go. So that's it. That's that's a lot of the video. No, no, it's not really. Um, right, okay. So I want to uh, tune. I'm going to go to. Um, I'm going to just change the radio first of all. I'm going to go to the Romford repeater, um, just because I've already done one with using the normal SWR meter that I use for it. <clears throat> and now I'm going to uh, recall there, recall, and go. I want to go to 70 SEMs because I've already done something for that. 70 SEMs, no, not that. I caught the wrong one, I know I did. Right, okay, uh, more. Yeah, I don't want that, I want that. That's better. Right, so that's telling me a load of gibberish at the moment. Right, okay, so what are we going to do? Right, back, back. That's the only thing I don't like about this. It, it makes its own mind up what it wants to do. Uh, marker. Uh, I don't need any of that. See, this is the thing. This is why people don't like them, because they're not really self-explanatory. Display. Format. SWR. SWR and I'm going to go back, scale, and I'm going to go 0 0.50. Okay, so now you can see there that my antenna, my uh, 70 SEMS antenna, uh, 433.325 is the. Uh, 433325 is the actual um, right okay we won't worry about that bit okay right never mind 433325 is my what what the repeat is on anyway but as you can see there it's uh one one point two eight and I've got you know it's it's perfect to me it's all I need I know I'm well below, or just above 1.5 there at the end, which is on one on 440. So I, I won't complain about that. Um, but uh, I just wanted to do a little uh, video on it, just to say say that basically this is what I use. Um, I I like it. I think it's a, a a great little thing. So I'll tell you what then. While we're, while we're here, let's let, let's do a two meter one because it is a two meter and 77. So we do a recall. Recall, we go to two meters now. Where are you? Where are you? There you are, up there. So, oh, that looks pretty naff, doesn't it? But it's not really. Uh, okay, so now we've we've gone, we've got the 144 to 146. We go back, back. We go display, format, SWR. And uh, I don't really need to do the scale, but I will, because that is virtually on the floor. Uh, 0.50, okay. 
and there you go look right at the bottom right at the bottom so my collinear is working absolutely beautiful and uh, i mean let's be fair about it I mean, you know an x50 you'd expect it to so uh, i just thought i'd put this on put this out there so that people can see exactly how good they actually do work i mean i've had no problem with it, it, it i've uh I, I, how i got into this was i i purchased a um a ham stick for 20 meters and i couldn't tune it i was maybe pushing the uh whip out too far going in too little going into the coil bit which you shouldn't do so i can't transmit there so i've got to go above that in the end i just got when i got this i just bump 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 done it and I put it on my uh, Yaesu FT891 and wallop, it was down at 1.5, I think. So, yeah, it's really good. So, anyway, I mean, I hope that uh, this has been of some use to you. Um, you know, but as I say, you know, have a look at the book. You know, the book tells you a lot more things that this thing can do. But that's what I want it for. So, uh, there you go. Anyway, catch you later and... Uh, I don't know, maybe my next video will be Friedrich Scharfen, but I've got, I've got uh, a, a radio I want to uh, do a review about as well. So we'll see. Okay, catch you later. 73, take care.